Okay, so for this video presentation, I chose to talk about my non-majors paper one, the first one we did. Um, basically, I think I'm going to talk about the prompt that I chose, and it was basically who would I want as my pastor, rather than being Augustine or Pelagius. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but I there's many reasons why I chose Augustine in this paper, but I mean, some of the one of the biggest quotes that I found really big and passionate about in this text was he states while they on the other hand were forcing faith on no one while first hunting for this entangled the truth who would not be enticed by these promises and I feel like this quote single-handedly explains Augustine's you know idea ideologies upon the topic of the truth you know um, by touching up upon the topic of truth inside the quote, you know, it illustrates certain qualities of his character to me. And within those ideologies is the reason why I definitely chose him as my pastor. Um, Augustine loves religion so much that he definitely devoted his life to finding his beliefs to better understand himself and his religion. And then uh definitely like i found a lot of different quotes throughout the text that like helped me believe like helped me support my evidence on to why augustine you know would be my pastor or something that i felt he said you know connected me closer to his beliefs and his ideologies um another quote that i found within the text states that if charged with inconsistency he would have replied that this is how god had worked in his life the church and sacraments helped him, but God converted him when he turned away from them. He spent his life struggling, but God saved him when all his struggles have failed. Um, this quote definitely shows me how Augustine found a belief system to tie himself closer to his religion to better connect himself with it and its ideologies within the passage. Um, as someone as that I will want as my pastor, um, I'd want him to display why religion is important to him and why he would choose the path he did down the religion, you know, course and path he chose. And I feel that Augustine shows these qualities in his character and just the demeanor, his entire demeanor towards religion and the way he carries himself um, about religion. Um, another reason why I think he'd be a great fit to be my pastor and to talk about his beliefs um, was just the way he talked about um, the way he talked about good and evil, um, the, um, and the, um, the part that they play in religion. Sorry about that. Um, un I feel like understanding Augustine's point of view on good and evil means finding the meaning to the way Augustine portrays the words good and evil. And something he said was, you know, our souls are pure and good. It's just that they are entrapped in evil bodies. You know, I like to excuse my, you know, accuse myself and accuse something else that was in me but was not really I. You know, and I feel like this is explaining how Manicheans believed the reasoning to what was going on in their religion. And Augustine believed uh, their belief was just a series of inadequate excuses. And due to this... He became, you know, um, he became kind of hurt and betrayed towards the Medicians and their beliefs. And I definitely agree on that when it, we touch on that topic. Um, you know, this connection and mutual agreement on their beliefs, you know, straight, it like kind of strengthens my belief as to why I would want him as my pastor again. Um, and I would definitely say that one of the last reasons and one of the big reasons why I would definitely choose Augustine as my pastor is just the way his belief in ideologies on truth and the meaning of truth was just a big impact on my sole decision as to why I want him as my pastor. You know, his mission in life was to find the truth about life. And I feel like that's something I can definitely agree on. You know, learning the truths in life can be rewarding, you know, due to the sole fact of uncovering the mysteries of how things work in life. Um, Augustine, he also pursued this truth in his life, and 
I would want someone to, I would definitely want to support a pastor that would have the same views as me and just have kind of the same relatively close on the spectrum in the same belief system. I feel Augustine's belief in truth, it shows how he wants to understand the knowledge he is preaching and conveying to the people he's trying to, you know, show and give his preachings to. And, you know, a kind of a, the, one of the biggest quotes that I found was, he says, Give me a lover and he will feel what I say. Give me one that longs, one that hungers. Give me one pilgrimage in the wilderness. Give me such a one and he will understand what I mean. And kind of what I took from this is how Augustine is just trying to show his truth to, you know, he wants his truth to be heard and understanded by someone that, you know, cares about religion and cares about his beliefs as deeply as Augustine did for himself. Um, this was just kind of like my belief as to why Augustine should be my pastor. And yeah, that's pretty much it.